and gentlemen, it is once again Friday, which means we can sit here and today, today I have literally one of the most distressing stories I have ever had come across my desk. Uh, it stresses me out. It actually stresses, reading the story that we're going to go through today genuinely stresses me the fuck out. But considering everyone's so interested, <laughs> it was here yesterday, we're going to play a game. I currently have some kind of illness. I don't know what it is. I'll describe it to you. You guys can place your bets and I will go and see a doctor in about, I don't know, eight-ish, nine-ish days. Uh, and then uh, we'll find out what it is. So what happens is roughly every 20 to 24 hours, something happens behind my right eye which feels like a really, really sharp needle digging into my head. It's a super intense pain. Uh, I don't know what it is. And then it goes away. <laughs> then it's gone for like 20, 24 hours. So that's what it is. Right right now, I feel nothing. Nothing. Not at all. And it's not because of screens, because it happened to me in the middle of the night yesterday. Nothing to do. I wasn't watching screens or anything. I was fast asleep. And then it came on. Uh, I don't know. It woke me up for half an hour of pain, and then it went away. I don't know. It's not lupus. I've had lupus. I had lupus. The only time my entire life I've been in hospital is because I got lupus and no doctor could diagnose it. It was very strange. Very, very, very strange indeed. But place your bets because we will go and see a doctor at some point. It's just we're a little busy right now and you'll find out why on Monday. There's going to be an announcement on Monday of which I'm involved with and then you'll know why I'm going to be in America. Uh, in the next few days, I'm going to be off to Team USA. I'm going to be spending some time over in America about seven days i think uh i'm gonna be spending in team usa and you'll find out all about that on monday and on top of that we've also had other drama going on this week of course with who managed to get their names on classic i don't know man this whole classic thing feels like it was way more effort than it was worth uh that is for goddamn sure it feels like it was way more effort than was needed to be instead of make like people just make their characters on launch i kind of get why they did it so they could figure out the servers so they could do all that kind of stuff. But if we look here, boom, get the... F oh, shit, I've still got Nobble on here. Hey, Nibs. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, we got there, baby. We fucking got there. Look at that. Look at that big, sexy moo cow. There he is. There he is. We have the name. Mm-hmm. Managed to get it. Uh, was not streamer privilege, just ludicrous look. Uh, is what I could gather from this. Just absolutely ludicrous look that the on my screen, the server came up like 30 seconds before everyone else. And then it let me make a character and it wouldn't make the character name. It kept saying the servers aren't up, but I was on the server screen. So I just did this. <sighs> until eventually it worked. <laughs> until eventually it worked. I literally DDoSed the screen until it let me get my character. And I was there. I managed to get it. And uh, thank you to all those people who attempted to take it off me and try and earn money. As if I would ever fucking pay you for my name. You stupid cunts. Honestly. You stupid cunts. Do you realize? You know how you could have easily figured out that wasn't going to work? Let me tell you how you could have easily figured that out, right? None of my characters are called Preach. I haven't had that name in about six years. You think I'm going to pay you? Really? You think I'm going to pay you for a fucking name? Dude, I have characters called One Day Be Good and Edge Slice. I couldn't give a shit. I really couldn't. I couldn't give two fucks. I'm happy. I'm happy. I got it. I'm all good. But imagine trying to blackmail somebody. Dumb cunts, man. <laughs> That's your game plan. That's your get rich quick scheme. I'm going to try and scam Preach out of money for his character name. Really? <laughs> That's what you came up with? That's what you came up with in business school? <laughs> you sat there and you're like, I got this. I got this, baby. I fucking got this. Uh, I think someone was... Uh, I could be wrong here. Uh, I think some of the guys in the chat could back me up. Someone was trying to, trying to charge Vanish 300 euros for his name? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Yep. Yeah, that's true, right? Someone was trying to charge Vanish 300 euros for his name. Nah, it's fine. It's all right. <laughs> Just pick something else. I really don't care. Oh, my God. These fucking people. Anyway. Right. Before we get into the, like, the story that's actually going to stress me out, like completely stress me out. It's going to stress you guys out as well. You're going to be well pissed off. Uh, let's talk about toxicity. Yeah. So on Monday, watch out for that uh, announcement that's coming. Toxicity. I love a bit of toxicity. Now, toxicity, as you may or may not know, uh, is actually a gateway drug. That's right. You don't only come to the stream so you can have a bit of a giggle and you can chill out with me. You come here 
So you can also do a bit of learning, yeah? Bit of education. And on that note, I should point out here that the workshop has returned, as you've seen, uh, by popular demand. The workshop is back. And also, our wonderful uh, wonderful member of the community, Mr. Dennis, or Chiryu, has come up with a wonderful system on Discord in order to submit them properly. Like a system so you know it's been tallied and all that kind of stuff. So if you look at the PG Discord, you can find out about that, and I'll have a video coming on it uh soonish soonish we'll get there we'll get it done i don't want to oversaturate with workshops and that's all anyone thinks it is uh but there you go that's going to be happening there okay <clears throat> let's have some fun let's meet mr gregor shall we we've all met a gregor at some point gregor gregor is somebody who does things and then really regrets it immediately and also needs to find a way out of this situation that he's created for himself Right, so we're going to start with this nice little short story before we all get stressed out completely. Hello, Preacher and Twitch chat. I'm writing this story from sunny Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Never really played with a Bulgarian, I don't think. Uh, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I know it's a short story, but I've not met such a person ever. And it was a really fun experience. I hope you enjoy it and have fun as I did. Hmm. Hmm. I was leveling my rogue like every other character I leveled, questing and queuing for dungeons. <coughs> Noob. <laughs> That's not how you level in this game. I got into Gundrak. Oh, I do miss Gundrak. I liked Gundrak. Good pace. And after the second boss, I noticed something strange was happening. The whole group was following me. I didn't know my way around Gundrak. And apparently was going the wrong way the whole time. While all of the group was just following behind me in a line. <laughs> After I had made a complete loop around the bridge, the hunter decides to call my ass out for this, saying, I'm an idiot showing the wrong way. I told him I didn't know my way around, Gundrak, and I don't know why you're all following me. I never said follow me or anything like that. <laughs> I never said I knew the dungeon. Two minutes later, after the abuse continued from our hunter named Gregor, Gregor was unfortunately kicked, kicked from the group for ninja pulling and trying to wipe us. Bye bye, Gregor. You shall be missed. But his presence remains. Fuck you, you son of a bitch! Was what I received in the pink. I quickly responded. Lol. <laughs> Reported. Gregor then responds, though. Wow! A snitch! Snitches get stitches! Grow up! Says Gregor. I responded. I don't like toxic players in the game. That's why I'm going to report you. Fucking nerd, mate! Get a life! Get a life, you fucking nerd! <clears throat> now, unfortunately, our author <laughs> responds with the old copy pasta, pretty much. I have a life. I go to university and I will have a stable job. I also have friends, which I go out with and I play World of Warcraft with them. Mm, mm. They never respond with that. Everyone assumes you're a liar. <laughs> Everyone assumes you're a fucking liar. Straight off. We know we've got no friends. We've got nothing. We've got nothing at all. We've got no friends. There's not a single person who would ever want to hang out with anybody. Right? Right? Because we're all individual solo players on this journey of life. And the last thing we're going to do is spend time with other people. Not a fucking chance. Not a fucking chance. <clears throat> now, Gregor pissed. Gregor is pissed. And you know why? Because as Gregor now points out, reporting players... That's liberal bullshit, you libtard. <laughs> to which I tell him... <laughs> you fucking libtard. <laughs> to which I tell him, I'm right wing, actually. And... <laughs> How did you get here? This is Gundrak, right? Let's remember where we started, all right? Let's take it back a step, all right? Now we're in the goblin fucking kingdom, yeah? With David Bowie and his cod pieces involved. Let's remember where we started. We started in Gundrak. 
I'm right wing, I say. And reporting players for being toxic has nothing to do with being liberal. All right? Now it gets political with Gregor. <clears throat> but you see, everything is in the details. Today, you're reporting a player for being toxic. The next day, you're reporting someone to the police for saying something to a gay guy. And that's as easy as it happens, ladies and gentlemen. And I think we can all put trust in Gregor. <laughs> it's the slippery slope. It's the slippery slope. Big true. Yeah, I agree. Big true. Just absolute science. Jack's all over it. It's science at this point. It's absolute science. <clears throat> And before any of your audience ask, I don't know what to make of this comment either. <laughs> Gregor continued to repeat that I should fuck myself. <clears throat> so I responded with have a great evening after I had reported him. This is my little short story as I never spoke to Gregor again. Uh, but I found it interesting and I thought you guys might like to know. I think we did want to know, honestly. I think we did want to know. We're happy that we know Gregor is out there, right? And remember guys... If someone says something racist in general, if you see some homophobia, if you see something like that, if you report them, you're two steps from being like a flat out bigot, like going crazy. So just be careful how often you hit that report button, all right? Just, just you be, yeah, you guys are all good with that. That's good to know. I just want you to be aware. I'm just trying to spread the good word. Okay, just get me out. <sighs> Here we go. Oh, sweet Moses. I hate everything about this story. I'm not even fucking joking. I hate it. We'll keep Gregor. I think Gregor needs some redemption. Uh, okay. We need a, a group leader who will be <laughs> tiny. And we need a lady mistweaver monk. I'm running out of girls. Class. Oh, there we go. Sophia. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Janie. Janie's not up on the list just yet. Just yet. I've got to make sure everybody who supports Drama Time gets their name in. There's a lot of names to get in there, which I'm thankful for. But I've got to make sure I get everybody in. Janie does the live show. Yeah? Janie's our live actress. Remember that. Janie's in a whole new tier. Yeah? She performs on a stage. Yeah? This is pleb stuff to her. Pleb stuff to her. She performs on a stage in front of an audience. Okay. <clears throat> this is... The final and part three of a long tale we've had, which some of you will recognize. <laughs> ah, and you might remember, and I believe I'm correct in saying this, is this is our author who had only ever been in one guild, but joined it twice. It was an atrocious, horrible, just shitty guild and now wanted to give up on raiding as a whole because basically he was in one shit guild, which is just horrific. Let's not do that. Now it's the finale. <clears throat> Okay. I'm ready. <clears throat> Thank you for reading my three stories. I loved hearing them. So hello there, Senor Preacherino, and hello to the Burros and Buraz in the chat. Don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, this is the third and final part of my tale. It started with the ringleader in part one, then went to onto a guild killer in part two. And now we're here, where I finally leave the guild. The finale of my sad, sad, but still enjoyable tale for you. And this one still irks me slightly to this day. But there is good news at the end. Let us begin then with a week before the start of Battle for Azeroth. Do you remember that time? I wasn't happy. <laughs> I remember I wasn't happy. I wasn't excited. Oh, I was worried, man. <laughs> I was so worried. Yeah, big oofs, big oofs. Oof. A week before Battle for Azeroth, I was struggling to find out what class I wanted to play. I had played a druid from Wrath of the Lich King all the way to the end of Legion. But I was having feelings for a change. As we all do when a new expansion comes, I generally change my main character uh, per expansion. It's a solid amount of time to be one class in spec. He was a resto druid, if you don't remember. I had a myriad of choices to pick from since I had leveled a druid, a priest, a shaman, a pally, a monk, a warlock, a demon hunter, mage, hunter, and a warrior to 110. 
And I was actually, thinking back on a personal, I was massively unhelpful with this process. Usually we do a good breakdown of the classes per expansion, but BFA just showed no light at the end of the tunnel. It was the worst time. Like, making the video for what to recommend was like, I can't even pick anything myself, man. This sucks. I decided then I wanted to play something completely different. I wanted to be a DPS. I've been healing for all this time. I want to be a DPS, at least in the beginning, to see if I like it. I decided out of this grand pool of characters that I was going to be a mage. I know. Bummer. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> F's in the chat. Apparently, though, the people who didn't play the Legion mage, they quite enjoyed the BFA mage. The only real sadness was the guys who played Legion mages. <laughs> they were like, not like this, no. I need to stress this right now. This is the first and only thing that still pisses me off to this day. This is the only thing he's still pissed off about. I did the appropriate thing. I whispered my raid leader of the heroic team that I wanted to do this. Here is the exact conversation before Battle for Azeroth even comes out, okay? So this is like a week or so before Battle for Azeroth even comes out. Our author... Yo, Raid Leader, I'm thinking of going deeps for the start of the next expansion. I just want to make sure it's okay before I do so. All right? Because he's a healer, right? And guilds might not want to lose the healer. The Raid Leader. Yeah, man. We have about four or five healers for our team. You should be fine on something else. Our Arthur. Cool. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to cook the squad. The Raid Leader. Of course not. We have so many people in our heroic team. You should be fine to play whatever you want. <clears throat> X. <laughs> this is word for word how the conversation went. Word for word. Now keep this in mind, okay? <laughs> keep this in mind. The the weird thing is, that is a pretty normal conversation. In fact, in my guild, we generally throw up a spreadsheet of who wants to re-roll. I don't know who else does that, so the guys can start planning the raid team. Do we need to recruit? Who might be on the bench? We just put it out there. Who wants to re-roll? So maybe we can gear you up uh, on your alt characters just before the expansion launches. That's how we do it. I don't know how you guys do it. Anyway, so let's come back then to battle for Azeroth. I level my mage all the way to 120 as fast as possible. I start by queuing with people for heroics so I can get the gear for Mythic Zeros. Remember, Mythic Plus did not exist at the launch, launch of BFA. We had that sweet, sweet Mythic Zero life. When I reach item level 300, it's a long time ago, I figure that's more than enough, right? Now we can join in. I ask my guild if I can join them in some Mythic Zeros. And the group that's going says, yes, yes. So I get invited to the group. And then I'm immediately kicked from the group. <laughs> I was very confused. So I whispered the leader of the group, what's going on? Our author, what's wrong? You told me I could join for Mythic Zeros. Group leader. Uh, actually, actually, uh, your item level is too low for Mythic Zero. Mythic Zero is pretty hard. We need you to be a minimum of 330 to join the Mythic Zero group. Now, <laughs> if I remember right, doesn't Mythic Zero drop 340 at the start of the expansion? I think it was 340. So, essentially, you need to be over geared. <laughs> before you can go <laughs> all the people in guilds are just like question mark <laughs> what the fuck i think i was 280 something in my first mythic zero i know i never did heroic dungeons like not once went straight to mythic zero anyway <laughs> not allowed in the guild group not allowed so our guy says but we're a guild together aren't we supposed to be helping each other gear up and this is when it came and bit me in the ass as the group leader says you were supposed to help us clear Mythic Antorus, but I guess that didn't happen either. Why don't you just stop talking to us raiders? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Fucking mic drop right there. Oh, yeah? I mean, I feel like this dungeon cleaner was waiting for this moment just to bitch slap that comment out there. Like, I have waited months for this moment, motherfucker. And go on, yeah, you want to join my dungeon? Join my dungeon. Fuck off. And you know why? Bitch slapped. Don't talk to us raiders. Mm, mm, get in there. Mm. Now, 
Look, if that ever happens to you in a guild run of raiders, and you're one of the raiders, which our guy is, leave the guild. Do you know, this week, I, as long as with two other people with 440 plus characters, boosted two guildies that were so badly geared because they'd capped like an hour before through Mythic 12 that they both spec tank. Two tanks, two DPS, and me healing. That's guild fun. <laughs> That's good shit. It was 20 odd deaths, but we fucking got there, boys. We fucking got there. That's kind of the stuff guilds do. Not this nonsense. Yeah, they were not big boys at all. <laughs> they were not big boys. It was a giggle. It was a laugh. I wish I had filmed it for you guys. I really do. It was, uh, it was nightmarish and hilarious all at the same time. Anyway, I couldn't believe it. I felt like I was getting bullied in middle school. Who talks to someone in their guild like this? Also, just for giggles, I told my friend from another guild who was doing mythics at 300 and below easily. So why was my guild requiring it to be so high? I thought maybe then it was a dungeon. Perhaps they're going to be tackling a super difficult Mythic Zero dungeon. Uh, I checked what they were doing and I assumed they must need really strong players for a Taldazar Mythic Zero. That's what it is. It was obvious for some odd reason the person in the Mythic team had bad blood with me. But why? I tried to raid with them, but it was shit. They were shit. So off to the pug world I went, because they easily invited me to Mythic Zeros on my character. But I need to get better gear if I want to be in the raid. So off I go in the pug world. So if it's easier to pug than it is to get into your guild dungeons, leave the guild, please. I beg of you guys, just leave. Just go somewhere else. Not much really to say. I take my time getting 340, which was the raid requirement to raid on the heroic team. I get to 340 and I whisper the raid leader, Gregor, I am ready to go. Gregor says, that's great. But how do you go, how do you intend to heal on your mage? Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Our authors reply. What? <laughs> I told you weeks before the expansion started that I was going to DPS this time around. Switch Gregor kindly replies. Yeah, I remember that conversation, but we still need you to heal. We only have two healers now. The others re-rolled. Idiot. <laughs> Wasn't there four or five? <laughs> I replied, then why didn't you tell me sooner? You've seen me on my mage 100% of the time. To which Gregor says, Look, I think you're not hearing it correctly. All right? This is your fault. Let me explain to you why it's your fault. I didn't say you could be a DPS in the raid, right? I said you can level a mage. But I didn't say it could come to the raid. You've always been our best healer. Why would I want you to do anything else besides heal? <laughs> I could see how you got confused. But honestly, does it even make sense now you hear it? <laughs> I love the old... Oh, the gaslighting is so real, right? It's so real. Think about it. <laughs> Why would I not want you to heal? You're our best healer. Stupid. <laughs> You're crazy being a mage in the raid. I was absolutely shocked. Not even a month before this time came around, I told him I was planning to switch to DPS. And he had approved it. But now he was telling me... It's fine to level gear and level my Heart of Azeroth. Just don't take that one that you leveled and geared. Not to mention, I had practically maxed out jewel crafting and mining, and I'd helped out all the guildies in getting their gems. Nope. Now, you have to level gear and Azerite power another character. Who would do it? Who would do it? Be honest. Who would do it? Who has done it? I, I mean, I kind of did it, but I did it willingly. It was my idea. 
Like, if someone ever told this me, I would have been gone at the first point. Yeah, I would have been out. I would have been out at the bit with the, the dungeon group. I would have been gone then. If my Ray leader pulled this shit, I'd be so gone. So gone. I mean, I have done it shortly after the launch of an expansion, but willingly. Yeah, I've done it. Katie's done it. <laughs> yeah, not for this guild. That's probably the correct answer. Not for this guild. That's for fucking sure. <sighs> and I had to do all of this in one week. The thing that took you weeks and other players that had weeks to do, I had to do all in one week. So, I started leveling my druid. I didn't hate leveling the first time, but I was annoyed that I had to do the war campaigns of fully hit 120. I liked most of the zones on the horde side, but I hated the war campaign. Now I have to do it all again. So I hit 120 in about 8 hours, no problem, easy part done. Then I moved on to gearing. I thought, I thought, at this point... Everyone on the heroic team was basically geared already. So they were going to carry me through mythic dungeons, right? Considering I had to re-roll. <laughs> Why are you in this guild? What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Oh my god. <laughs> I know. Oh, fuck off. Hey, hey. It gets way worse. <laughs> it gets so much worse. The story stresses me out so much, dude. I wish I could grab you by the jacket and be like, just go. Just be free, right? If I could literally drive you out to the forest and set you off, I would. I promise you. Completely and utterly wrong. Not only, not only am I not allowed to join their Mythic Zero groups and receive some help, they had actually raised the item level requirement to do Mythic Zero. It was now 340. What the fuck is going on? How does it go up after you have gotten the gear? What in the titty fucking Christ is this guild? Oh, everyone's got gear now. So now we're going to raise the item level requirements of Mythic Zeros. This is pug shit. This is what pug people do. That's their world. It's not the guild world. That's the pug world. All right. Honestly, as we can see, they really just don't want to play with our author. And they're doing anything they can to not let that happen. I don't really know why, but we'll carry on. <clears throat> it had gone up to 340. So I started doing pug heroics. In six days... I went from a fresh 120 to 344 item level, and my Heart of Azeroth was level 15 or something. I lied and said I'd got it to near 20, which was also required. And I am ready to heal, even though I didn't want to, and I'm certainly not going to do professions again. Into normal Uldia we head. Big. Talok. Normal mode. Hugeness. We kill Talok first try. Get in there. And then we move to Mother. After Talok, I didn't understand why we needed me to heal at all. There was no damage in this raid. Until Mother. And the reason became very apparent. It was because one of our tanks, our brand new tank, recruited fresh for Battle for Azeroth, was just the fucking worst. A demon hunter tank... That took so much damage so fast that we assigned two healers to keep him up. We had five healers for our 20-man normal mode raid. And we had to make up for the fact that he was fucking garbage by having more healers. And it also turned out he was our raid leader's IRL friend. Who had managed to join us for Battle for Azeroth. Of course he was. I was beyond annoyed. Here's the reason. This is the guy who had made it so I couldn't be a mage. You're saying leave? You're saying leave? You want our guy to leave? It's going to get worse. <sighs> I decided I'm just going to get over it. Water under the bridge. I like raiding. I'm just going to enjoy it while I can. I had been a druid for a really, really long time. So I knew how to play the spec very well. I had two other friends with me in the group. One of them was Tiny from uh, Story 1 and his one of his lady friends, Sophia. These two were the two I mainly hung out with after the Mythic Squad deformed and drama was about to explode 
out of nowhere. It's like our second raid night. Normal mode old here again. And for some reason, Tiny refused to join Discord with the rest of the raid. Just flat out refused. When I whispered Tiny, he simply said, I am fucking sick of this guild, bro. Leader's a cunt. <laughs> Sophia's a cunt. The entire group is a bunch of ass lickers for pussy in this group. Fuck everyone. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. I mean, you didn't bring this up yesterday. This is just like, <laughs> we've been talking for weeks. Uh... What's going on? <laughs> what the fuck? Huh. All right. <clears throat> I had honestly no idea how he had gotten that impression. We had killed four bosses on night one, and there weren't any arguments or anything, and everyone was fine. Now he was just whining like a little bitch. He eventually says, I'll raid, sure, but I ain't coming on Discord with those cunts. <laughs> of course, Gregor kicked him from the raid group, and then he was kicked out of the guild. Huh. I was so confused. There had been not a sign of this the day before or in the weeks leading up till this. And now I have no friends in the guild at all. Practically everyone is a stranger because I was raiding with the old mythic team that had gone now. Great. So? New plan. I'm going to make new friends. That's the strategy. We're going to make new friends. It's going to be fine. We're going to make new friends. <sighs> I decided to find out for myself why he had picked on Sophia. So I sent her a little whisper, took it straight to the pink, no messing around. How are you? And we hit it off. We talked for the next few raids and everything seemed fine. She would bitch to me about things she was annoyed about and I to her. We started becoming friends and after a month I thought we were cool. Apparently not though. But before we get to that, another problem is going to arise with my guild leader. <clears throat> so I'm sat there, I'm chilling. Then Gregor comes to me. <sighs> Gregor's got a problem. He tells me what we really need to make the team perfect is some kind of tank healer. He says, we've got two Mistweavers, we've got a Druid, and we've got a Dispriest, but a Paladin. A paladin would really round out our team, don't you think? Imagine having a paladin. He says he's been to the other healers. The two Mistweavers, they're not going to change. And our Dis Priest is really quite good, don't you think? But imagine having a paladin. That would be cool. I mean, I noticed straight away he's hinting on me at leveling a third character. Gearing it while progression is going on. <sighs> Obviously reading the signs on the wall, I said. No. No. I'm not re-rolling. You've already screwed me out of playing a mage this tier. I am not switching from druid. Just get a new tank or recruit a paladin. Just get one if you want one. Yeah, but you, you're a really good healer. It's your class that's letting you down. Now, look, I don't like it any more than you do, but either you kind of level and gear a paladin, or you can't be in the raid. It's that simple, really. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. Just leave. Please leave. I feel like you're just bent over, handcuffed, and your cheeks are soaped up to the nines. I should have just left. I know that. I know your chat knows that. Yep, my chat does know that. But, but, does anyone know what the but is? What's the but? Does anyone know? What's the butt? There is no butt. There is a butt. There is a butt. The girl? No. Oh, no. It's way worse than that. You ready? Here comes the butt. I should have just left there, he says. I know it. You know it. But I really wanted a head of the curve. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. 
<laughs> Who cares? People really care about ahead of the curve, man. Oh, man. I really want to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> and I honestly didn't think that anybody would recruit me mid-raid tier. Why? Why do you think that? People recruit all the time. It never stops. You might not get a progression spot till next tier, but fuck me, dude. It's heroic. You can take 30 odd people. What are you doing? I decided against my own better judgment. I decided against what I want and for the good of the guild. I'm going to level a third character to 120. Once again, I am gearing it on my own. But this time it's for a new reason. This time it's because the rest of the guild CBA with dungeons anymore. <laughs> and I start leveling my Heart of Azeroth again. I did it all in the space of two weeks. Because I decided that if this is what my raid leader needs of me, then I must be a necessity. And they will have to wait for me to be done. Now, I have a feeling that some of you might have some issues with our author, and I know he's listening right now. For the most part, you're done fucked up with basic stuff. Now, I just have to preface what's about to happen with literally the most confusing part of a drama story I've ever read in my life. And I still don't think you realize what you did wrong here. I'm going to leave it to the chat to decide. My raid group is now progressing Heroic Vectus. We all remember Heroic Vectus. Stand in the thing. Which I thought was a pretty fun fight, actually. About two hours into the raid, we are taking our ten minute break. And we all just sit there and we are talking about Transmog. Of course we are. We're talking about Transmog. More importantly, we have moved the conversation to Slutmogs. Ways to make your character look like a slut. Which Sophia is very good at. I don't remember the names of her items or her gear set. But her character was looking pretty damn fine to a drunk lad like me every raid night. <laughs> There's talking back and forth some people are bashing her because some of her mog doesn't match so i decided to whisper her <sighs> may jesus bless me <clears throat> hey sophia if you want to look like a whore you can decide how to do it yourself don't let someone else tell you how to do it. <laughs> Sophia replies, <laughs> What the fuck? Why? Question mark. To which I reply, what's wrong? I was just talking about transmog. And all that popped up was Sophia has put you on ignore. I'm as confused as anyone else, I'm sure. <laughs> Very confused about this. Very confused. I just decided to ignore it. Until Gregor exploded with anger. Not calling me out specifically, but eventually I realized he was talking about me. And he said after we had killed Vectis, I can't believe some of you. A lot of you come out here and have a good time and it's all well and good. But I can't believe some of you would go around making fun of others, calling them whores and shit. It's fucking unbelievable. And he canceled the raid for the rest of the night. After he canceled the raid... Gregor whispers me. What did you say to Sophia to make her so upset? 
<clears throat> so I said, we were talking about transmog, and I told her if she wants to try and look like a whore, she can. And not to let anyone else tell her not to, right? I was being supportive. Easy. So it's Gregor replies. She thought you were calling her a whore. <laughs> Why would she do that? To which I said, she's probably an attention-seeking whore. <laughs> <laughs> and she likes people talking about her, would be my guess. So Gregor then says, You are not wrong. She flirts with a lot of guys in the guild, and the officer team has her nudes. To which I said, Oh, not an attention whore, just a whore then. Okay, so those last three lines are totally fictional. That is not the conversation. I imagine it went something like this. What the fuck did you say to Sophia? I called her a whore. Gregor then would probably say something like, Why the fuck are you calling people whores? That's so weird. I was only talking about transmog. It doesn't matter. You don't start calling people a whore. Or saying they look like whores. Just leave it alone. I'm guessing it was more like that. Anyway... <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> there were nudes and not sharing. Discord, Discord, link, 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 share, link, share, link. After the transmog incident, weirdly, everyone in the guild stopped talking to me. Good God. Good God. I was now completely, completely alone. I would come up to people and say, want to do a 10? And everyone would ignore me. I would post in both Discord and Guild Chat in an attempt to... Oh, this is really sad. I would post in both Discord and Guild Chat in an attempt to even have someone reject me. At least that would be something. But no one ever did. No one ever bothered to say they didn't want to do it. At this point, I'm the cunt, apparently, who called a girl a whore. Brackets, even though originally we were just talking about mogs. You still don't get it. <laughs> Blows my mind. How? How do you not get this? How? How is after all this? And everybody ignoring you. And nobody who wants to talk to you is still like, it was just a mock thing. Like, what? <laughs> I don't get it. How is it possible you're still not getting this? I don't get it. Oh, my God. Okay. <clears throat> Are you ready? Have we got any Americans watching right now? We got any Americans? All right, you guys will really like this. <clears throat> Let me read the full thing. You'll like this. <clears throat> okay, you ready? You ready, Team America? Here it comes. I would post in both Discord and Guild Chat in an attempt to have someone reject me, but no one ever did. At this point, I'm the cunt who called a girl a whore, even though we were just talking about transmogs. Apparently, that's too much for little whittle Americans to handle. You're too sensitive. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's not him. It's you lot that are wrong. No. <laughs> Wait a minute. True. Big true. <laughs> Big true. Big solid true coming in life there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Look, I was already fine with leaving this guild. At this point when I was in the raids, I had 20 of 25 people in the raid completely muted in Discord. I was sick of hearing their stupid voices. Around this time, I decided I will end my sub with World of Warcraft. But I had one month to go. So raiding continued. Before us stands Gahuni. And it's the last night of my subscription. We almost kill him. But almost is not a kill. It was the first time since I had returned to World of Warcraft in Legion that I had not gotten ahead of the curve and now i was completely sad all of my friends were gone the mythic team didn't want me because i apparently abandoned them after 12 people had left the guild and the heroic team was done with me because of vagina no <laughs> how do you not get this <laughs> Oh, sweet 
Jesus. Oh my fucking God. He doesn't know. <laughs> my friends quit after two raids. So all that was left was to leave myself. I whispered Gregor telling him that I had fun while it lasted. And he can go fuck himself. I G quit and removed him from my friends list. And that is how our story ends. Almost. Because I did eventually come back right before Battle for Dazzar Law. I joined my friends guild. Which was a mythic guild. We got 7 out of 9 mythic before that tier ended. And I was back up healer on either night. Someone couldn't make it. Or the fight called for more healers. I wrote part 1 and 2 ahead of when I joined the guild. So it may have sounded like mythic raiding was done for me. But I came back stronger than before. Found a new guild and I'm quite happy. I have, I have friends now. And I even decided to start streaming. Don't call anyone a whore. Alright? Just do us that little favor. Yeah? That's a PG guarantee. PG guarantee. If any conversation comes up with one of the girls, try not to whisper them that they're a whore or they look like a whore. Anything like that. Just kind of just be, just put it to the side if you think that. Just put it over there. Just, just like leave that alone. Yeah? Don't matter. All around, I'm happy I'm out of that guild. I'm happy to never have to go back, and I'm happy that I gave Mythic Raiding a try again. It's so much better when you're actually in a guild that is organized and knows how to raid. Thank you for reading my trilogy. I hope this final part was everything everyone hoped for. Have a wonderful day. I think I think our audience is pretty happy with that. Say slut or slutty. I want some alternative words to go with this. I just need some alternatives. Can you inform me of what else we can call people? <laughs> All right. What have we got? 14 minutes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's get political. Sounds good to me. We're not afraid, are we, boys? We're good. Let's get political. Ah, oh, the keyboard's dying. No. And then it just splooged. All right. All right. Uh. I need two Swedish girls. Mm -mm -mm. Let's just keep Sophia for now. Uh, I don't think we've... We'll have Tiny and Sophia, actually. I think we've barely mentioned them. Besides Sophia being a whore. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. <clears throat> Unfortunate. Okay. A relatively quick tale to polish us off here. <clears throat> Hi, Preacher. This is a quick story about the time my old guild had an adventurous guild merger. So, I mean, we all know how this is going to pay off, don't we? <clears throat> this was just after we had achieved cutting edge Xavius in the Emerald Nightmare. We can all remember that back in the day. Me and my friends had a tight knit group of raiders on a PvP server that was famous for PvP. There was barely any raiding guilds, and for that matter, any raiders. This was a problem to us because we had a few people who stopped playing and some people who were kicked. And we had no way of filling this roster up. We just got no people. So one day, our guild master wanted to talk to us about this other guild that he'd come across. They had about the same progress as us. They had the same problems as we have. They had reached out to our guild master and told her that just as our guild, they were a tight knit group of friends with a lady guild master. So one day, we talked about it and decided this is a good decision. It's what's best for us. We couldn't step into Mythic again without 20 players and we had nobody applying to our guild. So we all left our guild and we joined theirs as we had agreed. We joined their Discord and started chatting. It felt okay. They were nice. After a few hours of talking about how similar our guilds were, how much we had in common, can you believe it? I play WoW too? I know. <sighs> Most of the new team had to go to bed. But me and another Swee from my old guild decided to stick it out and do some ma plus With their guild master, Tiny. And two more Swedes from their team. It started out good. They were skilled. We sailed through the Mythic Pluses. But then Tiny decided that she would bring up a subject she's very, very interested in. Politics. Specifically, her politics. I find Mythic Plus is a great place to bring up politics, actually. I think so. <clears throat> her starting subject 
was immigrants. <laughs> in Sweden. <clears throat> Instantly, me and my friend from the old guild were not really comfortable with what this conversation was starting to sound like. <laughs> but she just kept on talking. <laughs> she just wouldn't stop. <clears throat> so we thought, fuck this. We're just going to go to bed. Before I went to bed, though, I decided to go on the good book and see what kind of person we're dealing with. And there it was, just as you might imagine it would be. Not only was Tiny severely anti-immigrant, she had a whole page dedicated to her with Nazi flags where she was praising that one guy, Adolf, that you might have heard about. Cool. Awesome. This is going really well. As far as guild mergers could go, this is solid. Yeah? This is where we want to be. Now, I don't know about you guys, as he writes in the story. This is the author. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not into that. <laughs> it's one way of putting it, right? It's one way of putting it. Oh, what? Fascism? The Nazis? Nah, I'm not into that. You know? I'm just saying. Just say I'm not into that. That's not, that's not my thing. That's not my thing. <laughs> So I decided to go to the Google and see what else I could find as she had links on all over the place. And I did find out more. It turned out that Tiny used to be a teacher, but she got fired for teaching the kids in Swedish class uh, that Germany should have won the Second World War and that the world would be a better place if that had happened. She was fired, obviously. Cool, cool, cool. This is good, right? No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. The day after, I told Sophia, our original GM, and the best solution we could come up with, considering we had apparently merged with a guild, with a Nazi guild master, uh, was a guild meeting. Let's have a meeting. Let's have a chat. <sighs> Sophia was not happy about this revelation. She had not been told about any of this. <laughs> no one told me. I showed the other members what I had found uh, and my friend from the Mythic Plus group the night before uh, and told us that Tiny had told him before that that she would uh, thought the Holocaust, the Holocaust was made up and that mainly it was the Allies exaggerating what had happened to throw dirt at Adolf. This is before the Mythic Plus. So, this is where we started, right? It's a big yikes. It's a big yikes. It's a pretty big yikes. The guild meeting didn't take very long, as you might imagine. And we all agreed, we're going to leave. <laughs> no fucking shit. <laughs> you know what? Let's just go. Let's just leave. Let's just move on out of here. Let's just go. Uh, and... <laughs> instantaneously the entire guild suddenly left and left to rejoin our old guild surprisingly none of the other members came to our guild after this breakup they seemed okay with everything and that was the weirdest and fastest guild merger i have ever been a part of and i'll be honest with you i still feel very weird about it today Thank you for reading my little story. And thank you for casting on the Waste to World first. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for that. So that's uh, that's the thing that happened to some guys out there. <laughs> Be careful. Be careful, because you, God knows where you're going to end up. But that does bring us to the end of Drama Time for this week, ladies and gentlemen. I will be streaming tomorrow, because it is BG weekend. My family is not back uh, till like... At mid-afternoon, something like that. So if you want to get your Blood of the Enemy... Essence is done. Easy claps tomorrow. We'll put some groups together. We'll start doing some PvP. We'll start doing some PvP. So it'll be usual morning time, I think. Something like that. Uh, and then we'll smash out some blood of the enemies while we have time. Until my family's nearly home. Something around that. So maybe about three, four hours. Something like that. PvP, mate. PvP. I will heal you uh, out in the open world. But other than that, be good. And I will see you again on Monday. If you didn't catch any streams this week, a wonderful court playthrough of Portal 2 with me and Mr. Noble is awaiting you on the Twitch VODs. Uh, so you can go and check that out. It's a lot of fun. Turns out Noble's super toxic. Unbelievable. Super, super toxic. Very scary. Very, very scary stuff. Other than that, bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen. Do something cool with your weekend. And I will see you then. Bye-bye.